I've often accused developers of being engineers with hammers, considering that everything is a nail. This could apply to my Pico development as well, as I keep using the same C and C++ patterns. There are reasons why I choose certain patterns, and in this video I thought we might explore the performance of a Pico running MicroPython as compared to C or C++. Hi, I'm John, your concierge to the world of the Raspberry Pi Pico, robotics, IoT, and other fun tech. Please remember to subscribe and join the community. This is my uh, three minute summary on comparing MicroPython with C and C++ performance on the Raspberry Pi Pico. If you have time, why not check out the full video? MicroPython is by far the most common language used on the Pico. Of course, we can use lots of other languages too including BASIC, FORTH, RUST, and GO. MicroPython is an interpreted language and that has performance hits, which makes me avoid it for some use cases. In this video, I'm going to return to calculating the value of pi to a thousand significant figures. Let's see how we compare the performance of MicroPython and C and C++ for this workload. Developing this workload on Fonny for the Pico is very easy, and I used a very common algorithm for streaming Pi calculations. Running this through on a single core, we can only calculate Pi to a thousand decimal places once in a minute. It actually takes 38 seconds to do the calculations. The Pico has two cores, of course, and I could run the code on both, so we could double the performance. I've previously done this experiment using C++ on the Pico under just a bare metal SDK for a one cores and two cores. Also with free RTOS kernel, which gives me some multitasking capability. In C++, I can calculate the value of pi to a thousand significant figures 184 times in a minute on a single core or 360 times on dual cores with similar results under FreeRTOS, though the code is actually much easier to write there. So I'm saying MicroPython is rubbish, am I? Well, no, not at all. I'm just saying workload is really important in your choice of tool. For example, I tried out web service client code in MicroPython to call the Telegram bot API that I'd done in C++ on a previous video. The code to achieve that is much easier to write in MicroPython. That might be an example uh, of me using a hammer to hit a bolt. If you like this video and it helps your learning or projects, why not drop me a cash tip using the super thanks button below the video. Remember, I'm saving these up to get myself to open source in San Francisco next year. And I appreciate your help in getting me there. And I hope to see you there too. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please hit that like button and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the next video. Goodbye for now.